Jared with Striker Boats and I want to talk to you a little bit about our launching wheel system. So we get a lot of questions just about how it works and and what the components are. So let's take a closer look at our um, so today with us here this is a Striker LX270. Now we've had this up on the roof of our side by side for the last few days and we've been using it to access some remote lakes. So now we've I, this morning I took it off the side by side, we rolled it down the hill. Uh, you don't typically need a, a boat ramp or anything to use these. So and it was actually quite off camera, there's roots everywhere. So this launching wheel system we have is incredibly strong. And it's one that we've, we've been developing for the past 10 years. So we've had lots of different systems. So this one seems to be a little bit better than most of them. So this launching wheel system is very easy to remove. So all you do is you pull up on the pin and the launching wheel just slides out. Now, and it's the same to attach and detach. So, and what that is, is there's a spring inside of this tube and that works to positively lock and engage in the teeth on the transom bracket. So these transom brackets are a stainless steel bracket they're incredibly strong. They're very easy to work with. They're very easy to install. Please watch our video on launching wheel install for further information on the installation process. Um, now these wheels, once they are removed, can also be stored on the transom. Now you can simply put it in the spot that you took it out, or what I do is I'll remove it and I'll put it to the opposite side. And what that does is it's spreads it out on the transom and gives you lots of room to turn your motor and it's just aesthetically more pleasing so to begin to put these on just simply put it in you pull the pin briefly and it just snaps into place now another thing i'd like to note about these wheels as opposed to lots of wheels out there on the market is this has a heavy duty welded wheel holder. Now, a lot of the one brackets that we've used in the past have just been a bolt going through or some sort of bolt system. We've never had anything as strong as this. So this is incredibly strong. It's very light. It's easy to use. And the way these are set up, our single wheel system is good for roughly 250 to 300 pounds in in perfect situation now what i mean is a nice paved ramp going into the water if you're going to be going over off camber stuff or roots or there's a lot of snags or um, cutouts in your launching area you should strongly consider double wheels for any boat 380 and above in off camber situations. Now I've used single wheels with a lot of success, um, right up to our 420 and a 20 horse on a nice ramp. Anything that's that's kind of rocky in that, you should really consider double wheels, which now our double wheel system is like the singles, but it just has a secondary wheel on this side as well. So and what that does, is it gives it a very stable platform so it's not trying to twist itself too much now it, which is not an issue on these smaller boats at all but when you when you start getting the weight on there and an outboard and um, they can be a bit heavy so that's our single launching wheel system so this launching wheel these are a pneumatic tire which means air goes into them just like your car so these tires here uh, require 25 psi we recommend um, up to 30 now i say 25 because what that does is if you do have them flipped up on your transom all day and they're in this hot summer sun all day it allows them to expand to that 30 psi without compromising the integrity of the, of the tube inside 
Now, again, with these, because they are pneumatic and they are such a small tube, ch check them periodically if you haven't used your boat for a while. Um, it's just good practice to check them every few months, but if you're using your boat every week, you'll, you'll know about where they sit. So uh, 25 PSI for your pneumatic tires. Now, another question we get asked is do they float? And yes, they, they do float. So as soon as you pull the pin, you'll feel it'll want to come up and you could let go of it, it's fine. They aren't going anywhere. The air in, in the tire will keep that thing afloat for you. So no worry about losing them. Okay, let me show you how they work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this wheel back on and I'll launch this boat off the dock and show you guys kind of how easy it is to use. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna push these off the side of the, we're gonna launch it off the dock here. So launching wheels are, in our opinion, a must have for any inflatable boat. There's no situation where the boat is out of the water that launching wheels don't improve how you use it and, and they really save your back. And I'm sure they've saved a few relationships as well. So definitely consider a pair of launching wheels uh, with your inflatable boat purchase. Mm -hmm. 